Hi, my beautiful people. I am back with another video. I took a break um, for, gosh, I don't even know. Um, a lot of change has been happening. I got into medical school. I've been finishing up um, in my position at the lab that I'm working in now. And I'm moving to. So a lot of exciting stuff is happening um i also cut my hair i was going to the hair salon to gloss my hair you know because it gets brassy or whatever and you know i had this impulsive decision weather's getting warmer and i'm like i want to cut my hair i don't know i kind of want to give give off that chic vibe at first i kind of gave soccer mom vibes but I think it's giving chic now. I'm getting more used to styling it, figuring out like what looks good on me. Um, and I'm really, I'm really liking it. So I made kind of sort of a bigger purchase at Olive Young, um, which is a Korean beauty supply type of store. It's not exactly a Korean drugstore. But um, I feel like everyone's getting into Korean skincare, um, myself included. And so I just wanted to share with you what I've gotten. And I've been using it for about a month now. And so I wanted to give you like a first impression slash honest review type of video. Because I think after using a product for about a month, that's when you know if it's actually working for you or not. Because it takes some time, you know, for things to, to work or not work or whatever. And, um, you know, I've kind of been on a journey with my skin for the past couple months because I did come off of birth control and um, the first month that I was off of it, my skin, it was okay. And then starting month two, my skin started freaking out and now it's breaking out a lot. Um, but I'm kind of like embracing it. instead of trying to cover it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to embrace shit that's real you know shit that happens to everyone and so i'm kind of on a journey and trying to figure out um new actives to incorporate things to soothe my skin on days that i'm like not using actives you know and um yeah let's get started so i got two different types of toner pads toner pads have become really big in the k-beauty um world and one is for um days that i'm not using any other actives so when i'm not using my tretinoin or using like another chemical exfoliant and one is to use when i am using um different actives to combat my breakouts so the one that i use not with my retinoid or my tretinoin is the needly daily toner pad this comes in a huge jar of 60 pads and um i also got the the refill that came with this and so basically it's just a jar that you open up your pads are just soaked up in um, this watery essence type thing. And it also comes with some mini tongs to help grab um, a pad every time you want to use it. I would say that, so this would be a means of chemically exfoliating your skin. Um, but I would say it's really, really gentle. I have very dry, sensitive, like the most sensitive skin that you can ever think of. I have eczema. I have dry skin, flaky skin. I have acne and all this, all this stuff. Um, but my skin has not negatively reacted to this. And for the amount of product that you get, it's actually a pretty good deal. And the next toner pad that I got is the Abib heart leaf spot pad calming touch toner pads um so i saw tiktok and someone said that this is really good for soothing the skin and i definitely agree i leave this in the fridge for maybe like five minutes and um I use, I take two pads out at a time every time that I use it. 
I wipe across my whole entire face. It's very cooling because I left it in the fridge. And then I would just kind of leave the pad stuck onto um, my cheek area while I'm doing something else like brushing my teeth or if I already brushed my teeth, like do my brows, um, put on lip balm and, you know, do some other stuff. And I would keep the pads on there for maybe like five minutes and then follow up with essence and um, my moisturizer and all that. And I feel like it's been really good with helping with combating the dry flaky skin um but also because it you know like i said i left it in the fridge so it's super cooling and that kind of helps with the bloating and the puffiness that i get in my face in the morning as well so i really have been enjoying this this also comes with a refill when you purchase it this is um a twist cap and um it also comes with a little like a slip cover and then some mini tongs to help grab the toner pads as well so very much enjoyed using those i have been double cleansing for i don't know the past like five six years i truly believe in it and i really think that's like the best way to remove the impurities dirt and make off off your skin without being too harsh or drying it out and um so normally i go with like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. One cleansing oil that I really like is the Hadalabo cleansing oil that comes in a pump. It's like the container's gold. And cleansing balms, I try a whole bunch of ones. I tried the Naturium one, the Ginseng one, and the purple container. Um, I also use the e.l.f. hydrating cleansing balm. Um, that one's super affordable. Right now I'm using the Juno Skin Clean 10 cleansing balm. The only thing with this is that this is fragranced. I don't think that the balm melts as easily as the e.l.f. one has. The e.l.f. one, like literally, as soon as you rub it between your palms, it almost like feels like a cleansing oil. But this one has more of that balmy type texture. Yeah, this one's pretty affordable as well. It's like a few dollars more expensive than the e.l.f. one, but I feel like I would prefer the e.l.f. one over this one. Okay, but anyways, um, I didn't want to have to worry about like, like when I do travel, carrying a whole cleansing balm or a whole cleansing oil with me. And so um, Edward Avila, he's like a YouTuber. I really love him. He's freaking hilarious. And he really likes these cleansing oil cleansing wipes. It's by the brand Ariel and it's called the Perfect Expert Cleansing Oil Pads. And it has this little like animation on here to show you how effective the cleansing pad is. But they're infused with oil. So it's kind of like oil cleansing, but it's soaked in an actual pad. This one definitely um, has a scent to it. It's not fragrance free. Um, like I said, I have really sensitive skin, so I am really mindful of using products that have fragrance on my skin. But I noticed that if it's not something that I'm going to keep on my skin for a longer period of time, so cleansing balms, pads, face washes, stuff like that that I know I'm going to wash off, I am not too concerned about fragrance. But if it's something that I'm going to leave on my skin for like the day or overnight, like moisturizers, essences, that kind of stuff, I completely avoid fragrance. I don't want fragrance on my on my skin because I know it's going to irritate it. I would say that they're not your makeup doesn't as easily melt off your skin um, as when you like were to use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm but i would say that for travel for convenience it's um something that's just yeah it's just really convenient and it does the does the job for you it just takes a little bit of time to be able to take everything off but after that i do follow up with a cleanser anyway so um in terms of like removing waterproof mascara and stuff like that it's pretty good Next item that I got is the Torden Dive In Serum. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. Um, I would say I have tried a lot of different types of hyaluronic acids. 
and all of them are pretty good. They're just a way to be able to prevent trans epidermal water loss and retain the extra moisture while your skin is damp following cleansing. And um, this is a pretty solid one. It doesn't have any fragrance in it. What I would say about this one is that it soaks up like into your skin really, really fast. It's not exactly a thick formula. It's definitely like straight up a water-based formula. So as soon as you rub it in your skin, it's like soaked up. Um, and so you don't have to wait as long to be able to move on to the next product, if that makes sense. So yeah, I recommend this. If you're looking for a solid hyaluronic acid serum, I would say this is a really good one. Um, and I did repurchase a new Astura Addo Barrier 365 cream. I know that they have um, a lotion, but I tried the cream out. The cream works really good. And so I was like, if something works for me, why am I going to change up on it? This is my second tube. It's so, so good. Um, I used to be, you know, I used to look for moisturizers that were like super thick ones that would make your skin super greasy and oily looking after application um but these have like little hydrospheres in them um it doesn't feel like little balls when you rub it into your skin but those little balls are supposed to release more moisturizing ingredients as you're rubbing it into your skin and moisturizing your skin and so this isn't like too heavy for my dry skin but it's not super light um like I like to feel like I have like a layer of moisturizer on my skin but it doesn't leave you feeling like super greasy like some other thicker moisturizers do um I think, I think it's perfect. Super moisturizing, but not super greasy. And so using it like before makeup or even for just every day, it's super great. Last product that I got is this lip balm by Deseek. It is in the, it's a fruity lip jam and I got it in cherry jam. Um, the packaging is so pretty. And um, this is how it looks, just like a kind of like a hot pink lip balm that le leaves um, a sheer wash of pink onto your lips. I really, really like it. It's not super thick, not, you know, sticky at all. If anything, I actually kind of wish that it was a little bit of a thicker formula. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, they have like three other different colors i think so highly recommend that but that is all that i have for you guys um i'm really busy with moving in but if you guys want to see moving in vlogs let me know um i did change up my like filming setup a little bit i'm actually filming on my iphone i don't know how good the audio is gonna be i bought these little lavalier microphones off amazon so hopefully the audio is pretty good um i just went to my new place today and it looked so beautiful but i'm so excited to start school again to move into a new place new start new chapter um and i really do hope to upload more often on youtube as well so yeah Thank you guys all for watching and for the support. I really appreciate you guys. And let me know what you would like to see next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Annyeong!